Hello, I am David D. Hilser. I am a critical thinker, dissident scientist, and I'm here to tell you the truth about science, something your university professors won't tell you, the mass media won't tell you, and certainly those science evangelists won't tell you. I come across some videos once in a while with an intriguing title. Most of the time I skip them because I know they're just going to be mainstream mumbo jumbo doing the waving of the hands and just repeating blah 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 and not really listening to anything that's critical and any criticisms for it. Of course, you're an idiot. But this one I decide, okay, let me take a listen to it and because it's from Fermi Labs and I wanted to see what they say about in this case equals mc squared and normally along with this they talk about mass increase as you close the speed of light. One of the predictions of special relativity, but they sort of uh, they sort of gloss over that that's yeah it is a prediction, but it really happens this way and hey equals MC squared is really wrong because it, well, that's if you want to listen to the video, I have a link to it down below. you can listen to it. but I want to hone in on this one specific spot to show you how they try to argue against my argument that mass increase isn't observed, therefore special rel relativity is wrong. This is how they get around it. and we'll talk about why that sort of doesn't work. Gamma is a term that is ubiquitous in relativity. It is defined as 1 over the square root of the quantity 1 minus v squared divided by c squared. v is an object's velocity relative to u, and c is the speed of light. If v is 0, then gamma is just 1. So that's your first insight. e equals mc squared is only correct if an object isn't moving with respect to u. And as an object's velocity increases towards c, gamma gets higher and higher and the energy of the object increases. Note that the mass doesn't increase, but the energy does. This is a particularly important point to realize, because I don't know how many times people tell me that since energy and mass are the same, then a highly energetic object is also a massive one, at least not in the way that most of these people mean. It's just not true. So get that misconception out of your head. Okay, so what is he saying? It's very, very subtle here. He's saying, oh, that mass increase doesn't happen and that people sort of get mixed up. They think, well, as you get more and more energy, mass has to get bigger. Well, first of all, that's not what's happening. It's not that the idea that, oh, it's going faster, therefore it's got more energy equals mc squared, so, well, mass must be getting bigger, right? No, we're told that in the textbooks. We're told about time dilation, mass increase, and length contraction by special relativity. But somehow, we're going backwards now and trying to infer that, whatever that means. That means, again, they, he's implying that, oh, there's this misconception because, you know, equals mc squared. And I'm going to do speak back, well, what happened to special relativity and its original claims? We've thrown them out, but we don't talk about it. Hello? Okay, let's talk about the second thing. And that is, they say, as speed increases, the gamma increases. And so it's not the mass that increases, it's the energy. If you watched my movie, Einstein Wrong, The Miracle Year, you can look it up. EinsteinWrong.com. You can go to a link there. In fact, if you look at one of my videos about the celebration of 100 subscribers, I think there's still a few left, and you can watch it for free. In there, I talk about this particular thing, and that is E equals MC squared. And I can make you doubt that in three words. Well, it has to do with the answer that that question it has to do with energy. What does that mean? When you have a particle getting close to the light and it's just got more energetic according oh, so so okay we don't see mass increase okay what do we do special relativity tells us there's mass increase there's an earthquake here what do I do well okay the energy increases well that's real safe you know why because energy isn't a thing it's not real if you think it is then you have to think a lot more. Those people who are critical thinkers like ourselves, who have thought decades on this, and lots of the greatest minds. We got people from MIT, from Harvard, from Stanford in our group. 
These people are pretty darn bright. And they are not beholden to anybody. So they're free to think and try to find, oh my, don't let, I know, truth. So when we put these people to, together and we start talking about the words we use, one of my favorite sub subjects, we realize that energy is a concept. It's a useful concept, but one of the reasons you can see that it's a concept, look at the units for energy. How many are there? That's the problem. So look it up. Look up energy and see what, if energy does it have units? Well, we try to convert those things. What energy, if you really want to give it a definition, what I try to explain it, it's the potential to do for movement in a specific situation very specific the potential for movement of putting gas into your car and igniting it and creating motion for your car how much energy is in that well you can sort of do calculations to try to figure out these things in your world in the way you do things and you make sort of arbitrary units and you call them something and you name after after somebody you know newtons or or joules or whatever you want to call them and then you find out what you know all energy is about don't quote me on any of those words but that's the problem when they when they pass the buck from mass to energy that's exactly what they're doing and of course if you just put the equation in there and you got gamma and gamma is what one over the square root of one minus v squared over c squared and as c squared gets closer and closer to c, uh, v gets closer and closer to c, 1 minus 1 gets closer and closer to 0, and you divide by 0, wow, that's getting real big, it's getting real big. In fact, you can't really reach it. Well, who says all of this stuff works anyways this way? We don't know. We are, what they have done is pass special relativity to the energy level, thrown the neutrino at the end, which was put in there to make them balance out because what they're, what they're measuring doesn't balance out. So if we put, if we're using the magical increase equation of gamma, we've got the magical neutrino, which in the beginning had no mass, no charge. It wasn't anything. So this is where you get into this game. What they're doing is they're passing the buck going. They know very well when they send their students out to the particle accelerators, they're not going to see mass increase. Oh, well, no, it, the energy is increasing. And if you use the magic kinematic equations, this energy, oh, we have a neutrino and it takes away that magical energy. It just happens to take it away. And that's what we get. So this is the argument against mass increase. And their argument to say to David D. Hilster, yes, we don't have mass increase, but we still need the neutrino, and the energy still follows gamma. Why? What are the reasons you're given? Because they say so. Because Einstein says so. And Einstein is God. He's Gandhi. He's Jesus. He's Buddha. He's everybody. He is the most perfect. He's Mother Teresa. He can do no wrong. We must worship him. We must have Facebook pages and put lots of memes and talk about his life and all that stuff and how important he is. We have to tell you how important he is, even though his stuff isn't working and we don't have a model. So again, I hope this helps you out as a critical thinker. So when you see what we say, now you have the other side of the story of, of the mass increase. And this is the story that they're selling you. And that is gamma, according to this Lorenzian type uh, uh, factor, and it goes up magically with as you get closer to the speed of light. And of course, you can't get to it because it's infinite. But no, mass increase, mass increase doesn't happen. Okay, you got it? Well, like I say, you know, don't take anything anyone says on faith, including these dudes. Stay critical, stay thinking. I'm Dave D. Hilster. I am your science therapist, hoping you're getting more and more uh, successful in your endeavor to become a critical thinker like some of the greatest minds we have today. Ciao for now.